friends and loved ones. Would you agree that medications have come a very long way over the last hundred years or so? You know, until 1928, antibiotics weren't even a thing. Neither was ibuprofen until like, I think the 1960s. Heck, I would not have survived my breathing problems as a little kid if I had been born in the 40s before they invented prednisone. And does anybody else find it weird that with all of the medical technology advances over the last 50 years that have progressed and progressed, their advertising uh, has not? If like thousands of other guys, you find that your erection doesn't look so normal anymore. It could be an addressable medical condition called Peroni's disease or PD. Drug commercials in America, at least, I can't speak for the rest of the world, are so freaking weird. <laughs> And they have been weird as far back as I can remember, at least as long as I've been alive. I have these vivid memories that still haunt me of that little creature that lifted up that guy's toenail and took up residence and started like inviting his friends over and stuff in that Lamisil commercial. Hi, I'm Baker. Also vividly remember feeling so heartbroken over the little mozzarella ball who was too sad to play with the bluebird in the first Zoloft commercial I ever saw. And let's not be so silly as to forget the incredibly jarring Valtrex commercial that we all saw as kids. I have genital herpes. Such a fun thing to hear between episodes of Rugrats. <gasps> Fast forward 25 years-ish, and it doesn't really seem that things have gotten any better. Case in point, the stinking commercial for a drug called Antivio that YouTube shows me 607 times a day. But before I tell you guys about it, uh, we have a word from our sponsors. Sorry, forgot to film a segue. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. Hey kids, summer is approaching, am I right? And when the sun shines calling your name, don't order gross, greasy takeout. Get HelloFresh instead. Their quick and easy meals make feeding the family a cinch without the high price tag and without the grossness and greasiness. Because who wants that in the summertime? Who wants to be all puffed up with MSG and salt from Chinese takeout, not me. Fun fact, friends, this May, HelloFresh is actually celebrating Asian American and Pacific Islander heritage, meaning for a limited time, you can actually try authentic recipes that were created in partnership with Chef Serbisani of New York City's Tagmo restaurant, and you can enjoy a full-blown cultural taste test right in your own kitchen. Forget scouring the grocery store for one stinking simple ingredient that you need for your recipe. HelloFresh completely removes that half by delivering all of the pre-portioned and fresh ingredients that you need right to your door. So then you have exactly what you need in a pre-portioned amount right then and there, and it actually cuts down on food waste that way. We've all bought a bottle of, you know, cardamom that we used for one recipe, and then it just sits in our shelves collecting dust until it expires. My favorite new dish from HelloFresh that I've been trying as the weather gets warmer is this, I think it's like a Thai soup. It is so divine and it's so light and like fresh. You don't feel gross after eating it. I'm obsessed. So if you wanna save some time and money this summer and enjoy some delicious food, you can visit hellofresh.com and use code jamiesaid16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Uh, thank you. Once again, friends, Jamie said 16 at checkout with HelloFresh.com for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Make sure you spell my first name right. I know you probably think that you do, but your brain will flip it just naturally. So spell my name correctly. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, for sponsoring a portion of today's video, continuously supporting my channel, and making all of this possible, really. <laughs> and now back to the show. The stinking commercial for a drug called Antivio that YouTube shows me 607 times a day. When you live with moderate to severe Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, your day can be f Bruh. <laughs> Listen, okay, I suffered from a condition called lymphocytic colitis for like many years, okay? I'm not here to make fun of your diarrhea, but is a toilet for a car seat the absolute best we can do? I feel like not. I've been wanting to talk about this commercial for so long. It is so wild to me. <laughs> Obviously, you can see that they're trying to illustrate that ulcerative colitis hits you no matter where you are. When it knocks, you answer. So what better way to illustrate this than to replace anything that this woman might sit on throughout the day with a toilet? 
a closed toilet at that. Your day can be full of reminders of your condition. So full of reminders, in fact, that you'll wish your seat was a toilet so that you could immediately poop anywhere you want to instead of doing the awkward clenched cheek walk to the bathroom. I always wonder what's going through the actor's minds when they're shooting these ads. You know, is this woman, is she psyched about getting this role? Is she super hyped? You think, you think she's glad that she forked over probably 20 grand in acting classes just to be cast as the toilet lady in a poop commercial? I'm sorry, it's no shade to her. I would honestly probably take this job too, if not just to laugh with my friends about it. I really like the clip where she's out to eat with her family, also on a toilet, because you know she grabs her stomach, has to get up and run to the bathroom. It's very accurate, actually. Again, experience here. Embarrassment. Embarrassment. <laughs> but that's just it, you guys, it's accurate. Her getting up and having to run away would have been sufficient for us to get the point. Does her chair need to be a toilet? in the restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Because following that logic, why even run away, you know? The toilet's right there, may as well drop your deuce right where you sit. Oh God, ear muffin kids. Mommy's gotta bomb the bowl. In clinical trials, Intivio helped many people. Oh, see guys, now the pooper's in the back, right? No more riding shotgun for you, John. <laughs> I'm on Intivio now. <laughs> the toilet's name is John, do you get it? Now, as weird as this ad is, it's actually less weird than some when it, specifically when it comes to the part where they list off all of the terrible side effects the drug could cause. Infusion and serious allergic reactions can happen during or after treatment. So here, the footage that's playing while the side effects are listed actually kind of makes sense, right? She goes to the doctor, waits on her toilet in the waiting room, talks to the doctor who visibly is telling her about Intivio on his laptop. I may not be a fan of this commercial, but I can't deny that that at least makes sense sense and matches what she's saying in the voiceover. But in most commercials, the footage you're seeing while they're listing this <laughs> while they're listing the side effects really doesn't go together. Like why am I watching this woman dance with a guy on a first date while hearing about her severe diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting? It's almost as though they want to sort of distract you from the side effects. They're like, look, we legally have to list these side effects according to FDA regulations, but don't pay attention to that. Just focus on this guy sanding down a guitar and then visiting a high school band rehearsal and gifting the handmade instrument to a student. <laughs> Don't focus on the nausea and vomiting and cardiac arrest and sudden death that this drug might cause. Focus on this guy handing a bunch of putters back to the lady working at the putt-putt place. By the way, that drug is from an Ozempic commercial. Ozempic. And the Ozempic commercials are also insanely cheesy. They did this clever little thing where every time the narrator would list a benefit of the drug, the actors in the ad would go, oh, 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 oh no increased risk. You gotta make a diabetes drug ad fun somehow, I suppose. Oh. Perhaps you saw my video about Ozempic from not too long ago, but one thing I didn't mention in that video because I was focused on other things is the fact that before I even knew what Ozempic was or what it did for the human body, I knew the jingle. If eligible. Yes, friends, setting the Ozempic jingle to the tune of magic by Pilot from like 1975, that was genius on the part of the marketing person over at Ozempic because it's forever burned into my brain. Oh. I no longer hear, oh, 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 it's magic. Now I hear, oh, oh, Ozempic. And I'm reminded of all the times I pooped my pants on Ozempic, so. Thanks. Which brings me to my next point. The other very odd thing, odd in my personal opinion anyway, that is very common amongst prescription drug ads is the use of mainstream music for the drug jingles. <laughs> Fever, See, but it's always kind of like a kid's bop sounding, or it's like an adult's bop sounding version. Like they hire these random musicians to, well, yeah, I guess they would have to. It's not like they're gonna get actual members of Pilot to sing the Ozempic song. It's just fun to picture, you know, it's fun to picture people in the studio being like, I miss the days when somebody would write an original jingle for a drug. Remember those days? Remember the acapella trio that did the uh, Astelin song, that Astelin allergy medication? Don't let allergens or irritants do you in. Ask your doctor about Astelin. That song went so hard. I sang it all the time as a teenager, actually. Ask your doctor about Astelin. 
I haven't heard an original jingle for a medication in so long, unless of course I'm drawing a blank and just forgetting. Midwest Hemorrhoids Treatment Center, don't suffer in silence. Let me know if you know of one, but man, back in the day, like back in our grandparents' generation, during that time of television, those ad jingles slapped so hard. Peep this Alka-Seltzer commercial from the 50s. Relief is just a swallow away. Well. Down, 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 the stomach through. Round, 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 the system too. With Alka-Seltzer, they always say, relief is just a swallow away. Of course, people would probably have a heyday with that jingle now, but that little guy in that commercial is so stinking cute. It hurts. It hurts, mommy. A swallow away. But I guess it's not entirely fair of me to say that all commercials back then are better than the ones we see now because there's some real doozies out there that I've seen from, you know, the 50s and stuff that did not age well. So lose ugly fat fast with RDX, full stomach reducing plan. At least there's been some progress, I suppose. I just can't help but feel like it's time for a new pharmaceutical ad format. Try something different for crying out loud. There's actually only one ad recently that I've seen that is kind of different than the rest. It wasn't necessarily for a medication per se, but I kind of thought they had something going for them in the shingles vaccine commercial. I had shingles, horrible. Young thing like me. Actually, anyone 50 or over is at increased risk for shingles. The pain, the burning. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like one of those single camera sitcoms like Parks and Rec or The Office or something. But it does feel kind of odd that you can hear someone talking to her like who's that supposed to be is that supposed to be your son shingles can be prevented shingles can be what how hip of them isn't that hip frank yep they have shingles vaccines what i don't know about you guys but <laughs> i'm sold <laughs> i will be visiting shinglescanbewhat.com <laughs> is this real is this a real ad what? Uh... Or did they just bamboozle us like Aubrey Plaza almost did in her new wood milk commercial? Got wood. That ad was genius, by the way. I don't even drink cow's milk, but that was so funny and clever. And why can't medication ads be like that? Why do they have to be so bad and sometimes make us feel bad about ourselves for having an illness? Case in point, you guys, Humira. Humira is a drug used to treat, I believe, Crohn's disease, some sort of poop disorder. And Humira is a repeat offender for making its target audience feel bad about themselves for having the disease that it's there to treat. First things first, they start every single ad the same way. I thought I was managing my moderate to severe Crohn's disease. Then I realized something was missing. Me. My symptoms were keeping me from being there. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Way to make dads feel like deadbeats were having to poop sometimes. Look at this. They literally have his daughter waiting alone outside the school. There's nobody there to pick her up because her dad's in the john. <laughs> in some lady's back seat, probably. Oh. Same thing with this one here. We have these three ladies about to go on a trip to Chicago. Chicago. <sighs> but one of them keeps ruining it with her Crohn's flare-ups. Until I realized something was missing. Me. You okay, sis? My symptoms kept me from being there for my- I like how the exchange looks like, oh God. Betty keeps having to poop while we try clothes on. Betty, make sure you take that jumper off in time. Otherwise you'll have to buy it and we'll have to walk around the store with it the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm not going home. Oh gosh, she's almost making them late for their flight because of the poop. I guess this is actually slightly accurate. I know I've probably made my family wait a time or two for me when my colitis was at my worst and they probably even looked at each other with concern. But does that mean that that's what I wanna see in the ad? Must you remind us that our dates are probably looking at our skin conditions during dinner? Is he looking at my hairline? You know what guys? I think not. I think it's time for a new format in prescription medication advertising. And you know what they say, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Please sit back if you will and enjoy my very own modernized millennial-esque with a sprinkle of Gen Z-esque new and improved prescription medication commercial. Sup fam, I'm mediocre comedian and influencer Jamie French and I am here to tell you about an incredible new drug on the market, Brozempic. Bro, 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 Brozempic. Bro, 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 Kinda like Ozempic, but for bros. Do you wanna try Ozempic but you feel like it's just not manly enough and also you don't have diabetes or blood sugar problems? Well fear not my bros, instead, 
get excited about the potential benefits of once weekly Brozempic. In a study with Brozempic, the majority of male adults lowered their risk of smelling like Axe body spray and even found the strength to turn their hats forward instead of sideways. Bro, check out my hat! And you may be able to keep your shirt on. In the same one year study, men put on average of up to one shirt and one jacket on their shirtless bodies before taking a selfie. Bro. My shirt's on! A two-year study shows that Brozempic does not increase the risk of talking about high school glory days playing sports, hanging out on your college campus after graduation, grunting excessively while working out, or having tribal tattoos. Bro, no increased risks! Brozempic should not be the first medication for treating osteoporosis, nor should the medication continue if you experience any of the following side effects, which we are not afraid to show you. Midnight munchies. Incessant hallucinations of the V-Shred guy. Stop running on the treadmill every single day if you're trying to lose weight. Uggo scrote. Oh! Crazy big tooth to gum ratio. Constipation. Dry mouth. Headache. Scrot ache. Taint ache. Moobs. Spontaneously turning into the V-Shred guy, rocket nips, and worst of all, butt cancer. That's right, bros. Discover the potential of Brozempic and ask your doctor today about Brozempic. Bro, 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 Brozempic. And that's all I have for today, kids. Thanks for being here. Leave your feedback down below. Stick around for an outtake or two if you want. And don't forget to follow me on my other social accounts where I post other fun content. See you next time. Avoid grapefruit during treatment. What? Don't consume. What? <laughs> I wonder why every one of these drug companies is, seems to be required to say moderate to severe. Because nobody says that in real life. Like I wouldn't go up to someone and be like, oh, sorry, I'm late. It's my moderate to severe colitis. Bro, check out my shirt. Oh. At some point, you gotta look at the camera. Okay. Look real happy. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. <laughs> They're going hardcore. Gone are the days where you fear turning into a basic bro. Ask your doctor today about Brozempic. By the way, it's not a real drug.